Hey, so today I am in London at LJ Drums and uh, I'm here with uh, Louis. And uh, Louis working on a kick drum that I picked up a year ago. It's uh, 28 by 12, it's massive. Bit of a mystery, the origins of this drum. So um, Louis just been taking it apart and uh, we're getting ready to fix it up, sand it down. Uh, then we're gonna rewrap it and um, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome uh, when it's done. I, I, I've never come across this particular drum myself, but I think it's definitely going to be a fun project and it's definitely salvageable. I just want to take one moment to interject right here. First of all, it was my full intention to work with Louis on this project. That just wasn't going to happen. Second of all, while I was at the workshop, I noticed a couple other drums he had lying around. And so Louis agreed to chop them down. It went from being a bass drum restoration project to a full custom kit rebuild. I definitely added to uh, Louis's workload, but he smashed it either way. I'm going to uh, do a shell um, reduction on this uh, 13 by 11, uh, and bring it down to a 13 by six. I'm going to attempt something that I've never done before. I'm going to cut the shell down gradually actually going to try and remove the uh, reinforcement ring from the off cut i'm going to be using um this absolute ancient bit of a uh, bit of gear here wish me luck That was uh, that was a little bit um, touch and go in places. It's a it's a success. This was the shell. The, these are all of my measurements and sizes for the actual finish. So that's what it was like before with the reinforcement ring still attached. And now I've just cut that clean off. As soon as I did that, I was left with a nice little off cut. I put um, a tiny cut down the outside of the shell, and literally the outer ply just popped straight off. Um, I'll do just a little bit more fine sanding to get the glue off. This is going to um, slot back in perfectly. It all worked out in the end. So it's November 2020. We've just gone into the second lockdown of the year. I'm back in London to pick up my kick drum. He's been sending me like little update photos and everything, but this would be the first time I see it. Ta da! Coolest drum kit ever. All right, Louis, so just sum it up. What's this build meant to you? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's meant that I uh, realize what my breaking point is. <laughs> there are so many elements of this kit that are just like no other drum kit that I've ever worked on before. So there you go, there it is. If you have any old vintage drums that you love that need refurbing, Louis is your man. Send him some drums and um, he'll make them the coolest thing in the world. So if you need your drum skins changing, <laughs> Louis is your man. <laughs> what drum key? <laughs>